an historic moment today in aviation. For the first time, a solar-powered plane has crossed the Atlantic Ocean without using fossil fuel. The Solar Impulse 2 landed in Spain today, three days after taking off from New York. As Eric Sorensen explains, what was once thought to be impossible is now a reality. What it is, is an airplane that shows what future air travel may look like. Yes, it's almost as wide as a football field is long with just one seat. But just as the Wright brothers couldn't carry passengers, Solar Impulse represents the first steps in solar-powered flight. And to prove its potential, they began flying it around the world from Abu Dhabi last year, with stops in India and China, then across the vast Pacific. Remember, it has no fuel. It then was on to the United States, hopscotched across America, powered only by the sun. And now it has crossed its last ocean, the Atlantic. Not much further to go. Astrolabes were designed for a geocentric universe and they are as accurate as the path of the luminaries themselves. This is a geocentric clock based on the Earth being the center of the universe, not the sun like we are told by mainstream science. This is the oldest working geocentric astronomical clock displayed in Prague. They recently changed it and added a globe, but the mechanism inside is still geocentric. You can still find many examples without a fake globe, just type geocentric clocks. It's not a coincidence that the path of the planets aka wandering stars are an exact match to the Gleason's map and the fact Gleason was a flat earther. It wasn't just Gleason who depicted a working flat earth with great detail. Here's their Bono Monte map made in 1587 showing the path of the sun and the tropics. This map was used for war strategy because it's more accurate than the map they were using at the time. Can you see it yet? This is the Rupes Nigre aka the North Pole and it's the real reason your compass points north. This is the location of the real Mecca. Look at the resemblance to iron filings being manipulated by a magnetic field. Check these Mercator maps, the one he made at the top and the one they changed and used today at the bottom. You see we live inside the most beautiful clock ever to be made. This is what the globe lie is hiding from you because clocks cannot make themselves. Follow and bind your mind and sub to my YouTube for more like this. Please can someone help explain how on this flight the moon is below the horizon. Some way. 